Locally, our weekend-long heat wave cooling off tonight, where we saw temperatures close to 100 just yesterday. And when we get close to 100, that also brings back painful memories of a year ago when we had a high temperature of 112 degrees. The next day, we'd see 116, and then overnight lows into the mid-70s. So with the Portland area seeing continued impacts of climate change, can this affect our mental health? Jamie Seymour, live with a look into what specialists are calling climate grief. Jamie? Jeff and Liz, psychologists and therapists say they've seen an uptick in people coming in in the area experiencing anxiety and other mental health issues all related to impacts of climate change, especially some of those we've seen in the Portland area over the last couple years, like smoke from nearby wildfires and those extreme temps like we saw last year and this weekend. As Portland's first heat wave of the season comes to an end, some are taken this week to recognize the vast difference we saw this time last year when the heat dome killed nearly 100 people. Heat week, as organizers call it, not only looks back at last year's devastation, but also looks to how people can move forward, including when it comes to their mental health. This uncertainty can put us in like literal, visceral, embodied tension, stress, panic, feelings of doom. A climate and health panel made up of area mental health professionals looked at how the two intersect. One therapist says after years of relatively normal experiences in Portland compared to the rest of America, the metro is feeling the impacts of change like recent wildfires and smoke, triggering feelings of anxiety. Compared to all the other places where there's storms and floods and things like that, and then all of a sudden, um, Almost two years ago, there were the fires. Professionals are also looking at the mental impact of the 2021 heat dome, which saw at least 96 deaths here in Oregon, including 69 in Multnomah County, impacting families across the state and heightening personal struggles in others. Sometimes they overlap, so the disaster comes to our home. Right, and that's what's happened in Portland. That's what happened with the heat dome. With the impacts of climate change likely to continue, even with conservation efforts, mental health professionals suggest not letting that cause feelings of despair, but instead find other ways to cope through it. Organizers of Heat Week say that they also have more events planned over the next few days, including heat first aid training on Wednesday, where people can learn to recognize the signs of heat exhaustion and heat stroke and how to help those people in distress because of it. That event is free for the public and will be held virtually. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Jamie Seymour, Coin 6 News. All right.